Hi, I'm Shira. Uh, I just graduated from UC San Diego with a degree in International Studies. I actually found Jeannie at a job fair on the UCSD campus and it seemed like a field that I was interested to explore, the renewable energy field. And um, I actually had met Peter and he said that the interns get to do their own research projects and design their own project and that kind of sparked my interest and that's kind of why I chose to come to Jeannie. So I wrote a paper, basically a policy brief, about uh, water and electricity management in the Amu Darya River Basin. And the Amu Darya River Basin is a river that runs from Tajikistan through northern Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. And it used to reach the Aral Sea, which is west of where the river starts, but it does not anymore. And it's the only source of water for the whole, the whole region. So I wrote about um, kind of the interconnectedness between water and energy production, that it's a crisis project. So the river's drying up, the population is growing, the economies are based on agriculture and increasingly electricity production, which requires a lot of water. So the takeaway is that if they don't, if the Amu Darya riparian states, which are river states, if they don't change their policy with resource management, <laughs> means there will be no more water and when there's no more water they won't be able to produce any more electricity their fossil fuels r will run out and they won't be able to support their economy anymore so my first recommendation was that the uh, that the BVO which is the river basin organization um, it needs to be restructured and I give several examples of this in my paper and um, the second thing is that there needs to be a better financial structure for water and energy and basically what they need to do is create a system where the water provided to the downstream states is paid at one rate and the energy that's provided back to the upstream states is paid at market price and it's not connected at all. You need to get the farmers and the locals involved and to get them educated about what it means to have your resources leave what it means to use resources without monitoring and they need to sort of be participating in the scientific process and sort of be engaged in the political process. And that I think is the most important takeaway is that it's not just about the government, it's about the people that are being affected.